Hello, Dawes Road family. And to those of you who've tuned in, welcome in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We want you to be encouraged in your walk with Jesus. So in a four-minute Bible booster, we turn to Luke chapter 3. It's an amazing passage because Jesus is being baptized. Now, all four New Testament gospel writers record the incident of Jesus being baptized. And yet each one of them come with a slightly different viewpoint, a, a different perspective to help us to get a fuller understanding and a richer understanding of what the baptism of Jesus means. For instance, Matthew wants us to understand that as Jesus was baptized, it was not for his own personal repentance, but rather to set a path of righteousness, an example for us, that if we're going to be genuine followers of Jesus, we ought also to be baptized. But we're into Luke, Luke chapter 3, and it's interesting that Luke records the same thing that the other gospel writers record, that there was a voice from heaven. Now, John doesn't mention that, but Matthew, Mark, and Luke certainly do. And that voice was the God the Father giving his approval of, of, um, up, upon his own son, the Lord Jesus Christ. The Father gives his approval of Jesus. Of, of course, Jesus is one with the Father. But it's interesting what the Father would say. Well, let me read it for you. It says this in Luke chapter 3, verse 21 and following. When all the people were being baptized, Jesus was baptized too. As he was praying, heaven was opened, and the Holy Spirit descended on him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, whom I love. With you I am well pleased. Now Jesus himself was about 30 years old when he began his ministry. The Father gives his approval and makes that clear for us, he gives his approval of his own son, the Lord Jesus. Very interesting what the Father says. With Jesus, he is well pleased. Why is the Father well pleased? Because Jesus did it right. He did everything right. Now, Luke doesn't go into the details for that, but that certainly helps us understand something about what Jesus was about. He came to be our Savior. And to be our Savior, He had to come perfectly. The Father makes that clear in His statement. With Jesus, He is well pleased. Jesus did everything right. No sin, no rebellion, no pride. Jesus did everything right. Therefore, He could be our Savior. He could be the sacrifice for our sins because He would be the perfect sacrifice. Of course, that the fact that Jesus did everything right would also be a huge help for us day to day. The writer of Hebrews says that because Jesus did everything right, it means that when we struggle with sin and temptation and testing, we can cry out to him and call for help and he will come running that word in the book of Hebrews, the word help that occurs three times, is the idea that when I go, ah, I need you, he comes running. It's one word in the Greek, but it is a word picture. Ah, he comes running. He comes running. And I am so glad that at the baptism of Jesus, it was affirmed that Jesus is perfect and therefore he can be your help, my help, when we are struggling with either testing or temptations or difficult situations, he will come running. Oh, may God bless you. As you do cry out, he'll come running if you do cry out. If you don't cry out, he may not come running, but if you cry out to him, he will come running. Why? Because he did it right. God bless you as you love and serve our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.